This is Gaming Face Punch. Yes, um, this is uh, David Cage, uh, our lovely French games director, and uh, he showed off uh, a, a Detroit full of androids. Yeah. And they are, they're like, not powered by milk like they are in the Aliens universe. They are powered by some form of nuclear bimpto that you'd find in the shop. So, it does does look good and weird at the same time. It did look good, and it seems like they've truly got multiple endings and multiple paths. Maybe a bit too many, but it really does look that way. It really does look like um, your decisions matter. Whereas in some other games that claim it matters that where they it just doesn't matter that much. <clears throat> tell, tell, <clears throat> tell, tell, tell. What the fuck? What's the point? Um, it, it, yeah, because it seems like it's a world where you've got androids living, not maybe living, but um, integrated with the human populace, and that um, they're they're in like different jobs and stuff like that, and they work, they they're slaves or not butlers or whatever, and. They're in the police, and they, they could well be in uh, the military or whatever, doing the normal stuff. And the whole trailer revolves around this one situation um, with a hostage situation with a little kid and another android, and another android comes in to negotiate. The and negotiation they, bot. The negotiation bot, and they, they run through all the... Uh, like many different scenarios and then they sort of show you that it could have gone even more ways and you go oh this might have some depth I, I hope it is the case because when you first saw it it gave you the, the kind of decision thing it was literally good ending or bad ending kill him or be nice to him yeah, and I yeah. Was like, it's a bit binary that reminds me of uh, um, there was an episode of a thing called person of interest and it is an episode that keeps repeating itself as the computer is trying to work out what scenario allows everyone to survive. So you kind of watch it, it repeats itself like five times while the computer is going, right, I think I figured it out. I've literally it did it in like a couple of seconds, but you get to see what the computer was doing. And mm. that kind of, when it zoomed out and it showed bits, kind of reminded me of that. Maybe he based up the whole kind of thing on that, but it, it does look interesting. And, and last game that he produced was just Heavy Rain. No, it wasn't Heavy Rain, it was... Um, the Ellen Page simulator, uh, and then before that was Heavy Rain. I actually appreciate Heavy Rain because I was pretty fucking burnt out on first-person shooters by the time yeah. that got around. I think I had a diet of first-person shooters for like a year and a bit, and then that came out, and it's like, oh, this is good. And then God of War came out after that, <laughs> and then it was like, oh, that getting traded in for God of War. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.